coming up to the fantastic victory we had against the Witness Vikings here at the Tetley Stadium. Um, Lee, obviously before that, more postponements and um, more disruption, but we, we came into the game against Lee really focused and, and wanting to put on a, a good performance for our home supporters. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, we've, we've had a disrupted season even before this um, this virus has come round and, and done what it's done. So we obviously had been to Halifax on a Tuesday night and um, put in a, a massive shift to come away with the points and then we um, just trained the once on the the Friday with all intent of obviously going to Whitehaven then in the Challenge Cup but that run didn't happen either so we had to move quickly then to to get our thoughts behind playing witness at home the week after and um, still not quite sure whether we were going to get made to travel up to Whitehaven or not that midweek and just to try to work out where we're going to fit that in um, we were going to move the witness game and try to play it on that following weekend against Whitehaven. So there was still a lot of things going on behind the scenes, but we just tried to focus on just playing witness. We knew we were going to have a game that weekend, um, so we just tried um, try to focus on that. They obviously on the R League app as well, which which does make a difference, especially for our lads who uh, don't get much exposure. So for them, that is like like playing on Sky as it is to a Super League player. So. Um, everyone's hair and makeup were done nicely before the game, but then after five minutes it didn't matter because it was an absolute mud bath, so no one could tell anyone apart. Similar to the couple of games we've played previous, and you obviously you do pre season, and a lot of teams now are getting access to the 3G pitches and nice surfaces to do the pre season on, but unless you play on one of them, you're playing on mud and it's slow and it's hard to, um, to get anything quick. So you've, you've got to 100% adapt to what you're doing um, in order to get the results. Um, it's no good, I don't believe, coming in with one set way of playing and that's what you're going to do every surface, every every ground and every team you're playing against. You've got to be adaptable, in my opinion. So certainly we have because we're underdogs in quite a lot of games and we have to find a way to try and get results. Um, might not always be the most orthodox way but I, I want to get results and I want to beat teams so we again had, had, had a plan to play against Widnes we'd had a look at them and they'd been scoring quite a lot of points but they'd also played a lot on the 3G pitch um, I don't think they played much on on grass or mud so we knew we didn't know how they were going to attack it whether they were going to try and play the game they'd been playing previously which was a lot of ball movement and um, and scoring points and try to look for space on an edge. We knew space on that pitch out there and in the conditions that were going to be, we were going to be a premium for them. So we were ready for them to do that. But we also didn't back of the mind they might just change the plan a little bit um, for the conditions. So we were ready pretty much for what winners were going to throw at us. Um, it was just a case of physically, can we can we stop it? Um, there's still some very good players and athletes in that winners team as well mm. who've been full time over the recent couple of years a lot of them uh, even though they might have dropped to part time now so again massive challenge they had three I think from Warrington in as well and there might have been four so and we had no no dual rage that was all our players so it were um, in some ways it can work for you and against you can that your team talk then can be 17 of our own lads have all done pre-season remember that session remember what we've been through um when you bring dual edge players in, you can't quite say that and keep a straight face because you know mm. they haven't been part of what you've been doing. So this were just a massive team performance. We knew it would need to be that to sort of to sort of get the result. And and obviously, yeah, again, I don't think anybody can argue with the, the final score. Some massive efforts. Some guys that had been out with the team. They played against Lee. Um, been given a, a couple of things to to work on or to be better at next time. They got a got a chance and they certainly were when they came to this game uh, obviously yeah, that first one's a little bit of luck but I always find that any kick sort of tries any balls on the floor the more numbers you have around the ball you, you've got more chance of obviously bouncing your way and getting some useful out of it and getting a decent kick inside from Fleming anyway so even if the full back had got on it would have been in a nice position just to start with 
set up the next defensive set off. It was a clever kick, really. He saw the space and decided to. Yeah, I think that were it. It's seen Owens come across. We know Owens is dangerous on his kick return, so maybe just rather than putting it into a dead end there, he put it back across and just sort of saw it happen. And fair enough, we had Joe chasing it and then other people in the vicinity quite quickly after. And that's that enthusiasm and that sort of team thing. Because the, the kick looks still a bit of a nothing kick when you just looked at it in isolation. But then, like I said, more people you get around there, more chance you've got. So, that were a nice try. And again, you can see just signs of a more fancied team probably not liking the fact that we're defending well, we're disciplined, yeah. we're completing sets. And sometimes the, their discipline just goes because it's not quite what they had in, in their script. I don't like blaming anyone. For me, I don't know if that's a try. I felt looking at our video that our players knocked it on and then our players then touched it, yeah. which for me is, is, is a dead player. Yeah. But that's something similar to ours. It's a bit of a ricochet type of kick. It's not something you've broke us down with. Can't really blame anyone for the actual try being conceded defensively. A lot of mistakes like that happen. So, yeah, a bit of one way to just um, just suck up. We're still in the lead. We're still in there. We're in a good spot as in how we're doing. Where maybe previously we'd then go into a patch of right, we'll kick the ball out on the full, or we'll do something bad next, and then it gives you another attacking set and chance to win the lead. Yeah. It's how quick can we move on from you know, something going against us, and that's what we've tried to be better at. And we did. Obviously, we're still two points up, and then not long after, we get ourselves into a good position. Um, I knew we could cause some problems around the play of the ball a bit. I'd seen some of the tries they'd conceded, and rather than being out wide, they had been around. The sort of play the ball around the middle, so I knew I knew Sam would have a chance there. Mm -hmm. He he wanted to do a full game because Don was suspended for this one. He likes his close uh, line well, drives. Well, listen, some teams it depends on defensive system. Some teams will 100% not allow you to score around there, but then provide you opportunities on the edges where there's a bit more space. Mm. Others prefer to keep the space in. And don't like to get broke down with the players, but then now just leave yourself a little bit of the ball around there, and that's obviously where Sam, Sam is good. So, yeah, um, a bit of a an unfortunate penalty, which again, if you want me to go down the critical route of, of officials, which I don't like to do, mm -hmm. that penalty actually was from the previous play before. So again, I don't know sure if you can quite do that. But nevertheless, that's what we um, that's what we did. We were up, still up by six. We knew witness had, had have another go and come out. We didn't want it to be a repeat of Lee, where we just sort of crumbled after 15, 20 minutes. And yeah, we, um, we just continuously just ran out everybody, made meters and, and frustrated witness. And, and we got the opportunities to, to extend the lead. There were few and far between still, which there in these conditions, we took them. And, and for me, it's a brilliant bit of play from Gabe's again. He'd done one against Lee, if you remember, passing back on the inside. And rather than just catch it and just get tackled, he's, he's sent an opportunity there to keep the ball alive. And, and a great little finish there from there. I think everybody can accept that whether you were here or you watched it on the hourly gap, that all our lads really, really put a shift in it, is like you said. But there were there were two players making massive meters in, in Connor Scott and, and Luke Nelms that game, which which witness just couldn't couldn't handle us. I mean, there's some some bits on the highlights where they're carrying two or three men on them. Yeah, well, so conditions at this time of year are different, um, and sometimes it is literally about making making meters. Other times it's about trying to get a quick play of the ball and get to the floor quick so you can get it quicker. Uh, this one, as it panned out, was one for just trying to sort of plod forward and make me. It's a bit old school, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, which played into, well, not, not played into the hands, but it suited some of our players. Um, but that's what people like about the game, that it, it can be so different. And I mean, league. It, the league and union can be played by all sorts of different types of body shapes, people, athletes, and, and you can find a place for them. And, and so yeah, we, um, we we did a good job here um, overall. Like I say, it's not the first game that we've frustrated a much more fancy team. Um, all games still been a bit different, but this one I felt like we were we were in control for nearly all of it. I'd say and more than good value for that victory which obviously set us up nicely there because we were then two wins 
out of three. And if you'd have told us that you're going to have to play Lee, Halifax away, win this at home, I don't know how many people would have thought we'd have been on any points.